tea The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV Lakers Fantasy Football, welcome back. We're going to give you a little grab bag of must-haves between the quarterbacks, tight ends. We're even going to throw in Jags D in there. I mean, I think you just fucking got it. I mean, I know the Piper, they're going like the ninth round or something out there. I think they're going, I think I've seen them going the ninth round more than I haven't. No, where the fuck, yep, first pick of the ninth <laughs> round, baby. I ain't worth it. If we're talking, you're getting something at your position we're that you don't have to screw with the entire season. You just plug and this. play. We're talking about Jags D or C.J. Anderson <laughs> in the ninth round. We're talking about Jags D Devontae Parker. or Devontae Parker in the ninth round. I mean, we're talking about something that's going to contribute to you winning week in and week out fantasy fucking football matchups. I think you got to be talking about the fucking Jags. They're ferocious. I mean, <laughs> Head and shoulders. Ferocious. The best defense in the league. Just follow them like on Instagram. They're posting. They never it's take ridiculous. plays off. You got Jalen Ramsey laying out. They got Malik Jackson, their defensive tackle, going 90 degrees parallel with the ground laying out for catches. I mean, my goodness. Look at this little laundry list of fucking shit liners. Just bench, guys. You're going to end up cutting midseason, going in the ninth round instead of just fucking saddling it up. With the sexy D Lux beer factory that is the fucking Jags D. Oh, man. I mean, look at these fucking cock shows. Aaron Jones? Fuck sakes. George Kittle? Alan Hearns? Get the fuck out of here. Those are the, t those are the dudes going around the Jags D. Alright. What about some tight ends here? I'm really. Really love it. Now, I'm kind of saying this to must-have is because I feel like this is about where the cliff goes as well for the tight end position. And I really, really love Kyle Rudolph. We're talking he's currently getting drafted, like, first pick in the seventh round. He had the second most touchdowns of tight ends last year, only behind Jimmy Graham. If we're looking at tight ends after this, we're talking like Delaney Walker, Delaney Walker, Trey Burton, Jordan taking Reed. Taking a shot on Jordan Reed in his health situation, which I've been kind of an advocate of. I so like far. I like getting that Jordan Reed late and then saddling up like a Jag Doyle something steady when ready after that. But Kyle Rudolph. Oh yeah, I mean you look at the guys going. This is what gets me the most. Like you look at the guys going like two, three rounds before Rudolph. Talking about Greg Olson. Talking about Jimmy Graham. And I mean, I think I think you just got to pass on those guys all day and just wait for that beginning of the seventh round from the Kyle Rudolph out there. Kyle Rudolph, not to mention the quarterback situation. We're talking Alex Smith and Kirk Cousins. No one loves them more. No one loves their tight ends more than those two guys. And we're talking Kirk Cousins, perfect storm, going to Minnesota, reindeer games, eight touchdowns. That could go up, not to mention I think overall fantasy points is going to go up this year. Yeah, you know, I look, you look at guys like going a little bit after him, like Trey Burton, you know, and Jordan Reed, you know, guys I like, but if you're looking for a solid, you're going to get Potential you tight in five. one, yeah, tight in one numbers week in and week out, you know, you're looking to not take a gamble at the tight end position because you kind of slept on it a little bit. I think just reindeer games is your ticket at this point. I think another guy, too, a must-draft. If we're talking, I know I touched on him a little earlier here, but if we're talking you're getting a guy like a Jordan Reed and you just really want to feel good about that backup tight end, I think Jack Doyle in the 11th round is about as solid as you can get as your second tight end on your team. Well, and the, even your back the Colts, end. The Colts tight, bringing Eric Ebron, though? The Colts got Eric Ebron, right? They got Ebron, but what's he going to do? Uh, yeah, you're right. It is a sack of cocks, but I mean, if you're, and it just still muddies the water a little bit for the old Jack Doyle. If Jack, if there wasn't for Eric Ebron, I think Doyle would be going into that eighth, ninth. What about in Joku? I don't know. I know it's Cleveland, and there's a lot of mouths to feed, but it's just like you know, Cleveland just doesn't have enough feed to feed all these mouths. So I just think the Joku might just. Have a really hard time breaking into that back end tight end one conversation. I mean, I think about it. If, Solid if, backup, though. 
if Josh Gordon fucking shows up and play football, I mean, you got to think about Landry's going to be a target back. You got Gordon, you got Duke Johnson. They shipped out Corey Coleman. Uh, they did and for nothing. They, it was a, a 2027th round pick. That's literally, here's, here he is. A 2000, it's a he was like a, he was like a, yeah, 2016. 2000, it's, six, he was like 15th overall. Yeah, first round pick. And they just gave him to him for a 7th round pick in 2020. And then the guy who is picking up You might as well just let him go. That's just kind of like, we, you have to give me something, otherwise it won't be recognized as a trade kind of situation. Because they got nothing. And the guy sneaking up that they drafted who's, was called Possession of who's Marijuana. Gr- whose girlfriend did Corey Coleman fuck to get fucking traded for a fucking he's seventh round draft? Yeah, I mean, he, did, he did something to piss somebody fucking off to get fucking shipped out of town for fucking nothing, bro. Nothing. It was, I mean, I would have... Any NFL team, I think, could say, yeah, I'll try that. The Bears should have. A seventh round. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? These are two two years ago we're talking. And Nothing. I think it's, and they had fluke injuries, like broke both his hands. Like, they've been pretty fluky injuries. Yeah, I mean, just give him a look alone is worth a fucking seventh round pick two years from now. My fucking goodness. All right, let's talk late quarterbacks. Late quarterbacks, who you like? Let's kind of see where this clip is at. Yeah, here. you know, guys, you can guarantee. I don't know. You got to look for the guys you know. I mean, you, what do you think about a Pat Jared Mahomes? Jared Goff is getting no respect. What do you think about Pat Mahomes? Goff and Mahomes are going back-to-back picks in the 11th round. Which is ridiculous because Goff they, is a proven talent in a fucking sexy system and Pat Mahomes is a virtual unknown. But I think Pat Mahomes might have a higher ceiling. They both have great ceilings, though. If we're talking, you're strapping these guys on as your second quarterback on your team in the 11th round. Goff is getting no fucking respect. I think a guy you have to avoid is Jimmy Garoppolo. That just that is yeah. it, it, his shit is just through the fucking roof out there. Getting drafted. Who's the laundry list of dudes he's getting fucking drafted over? It is ridiculous. He's getting drafted over Matt Stafford. Matt Ryan. Over Philip Rivers. Who, Philip, Roethlisberger. We're talking Rivers in the fantasy Goff. realm. Is as steady as it gets for like a back-end QB1. It's absolutely gross. What do you think about Carson Wentz in the seventh? Yeah, I, I feel that's like good that's... Value. I'm kind of afraid of it. I mean, it's decent. If he can go, I mean, if he can go out, if he does what he did last year, I think it's fucking sexy deluxe. I mean, I don't want to say that like he was a. I think Drew Brees in the sixth round. I'm more afraid of that than I am. I don't know. I mean, Drew Brees still threw for 4,300 yards last year. How the fuck did he do it? (laughs) You look at this. You're like, Like, they run the ball every down. This motherfucker (laughs) still has 4,300 yards. Like honestly, I would. I would feel more comfortable with Breeze than Wentz. Something about Wentz scares me. Mm. I don't know. I don't. It could be that. Who? It could be the RG three effect. I don't know. No, babe. I, it's scary. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you know if you're looking, uh, this quarterback, this someone just value is just so. I mean, my goodness. I mean, you know, the first quarterback going like the fourth round and Rodgers. I think Russell Wilson slipped a little bit yeah. with his Baldwin, Baldwin situation. People are getting afraid because after Baldwin, if Baldwin, I mean, Baldwin isn't ready to go, he has his, his players to be named later out there. Throwing to guys like Tyler Lockett. I mean, who the fuck? Brandon Marshall. Who the fuck else they got going on out there? My goodness. Yeah, but I mean, Philip Rivers, I feel like in the 10th round, I mean, it's about as steady as it gets. In terms of if you're talking, you want to wait and you really want to sit on quarterback. I feel like a guy you should be targeting is the tenth round Philip Rivers. What do you think? Yeah, fuck. Or, I, mean, I think his weapons got better. I mean, he lost Henry, but in terms of bringing in Mike, who was Henry though, really? I mean, Mike Williams. They drafted him as a first round talent. He's looking like he's gonna be healthy this he's year. He's been running with the second team though. Tyrell's been running Tyrell, with the first. I mean, another year getting back with Keenan Allen. They who really came on strong late last year. Like second half of the season. I don't think there's anyone better than Keenan Allen. Yeah, you know, like a quarterback, guys don't have that much you know, not, I mean as long as you don't wait past where the water runs dry, like you go out there. And you're staring right in the fucking face of Marcus Mariota 
Alex Smith and Derek Carr, you done fucked up. If that's the case, I say wait even longer. And I feel like a guy like Case Keenum in the oh, 15th round. Yeah, I mean, that's the same type, yeah. I mean, Case Keenum has some value in the 15th round. When we're talking, he actually, he's got very strong wide receivers, and they get Sutton in the draft. There's three legitimate wide receivers on this team, and he made Diggs get it like a $70 million contract. Adam Thielen became a, a wide receiver one. Yeah, how the fuck? Yeah, I mean, he did do magical things. I'm just not sure I'm ready to bank on him doing magical things again. But if you want him to get him as like a backup, I guess I'd feel all right with the old Case Keenum out there. All right, baby, is that wrap her up? Talk about talk about the listener league. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are down, if that shit's not full, you know, not if it hasn't been filled up yet, holler at me, comment below, email us up at tankersfantasyfootball at gmail. Dot com. I know that's a long fucking email address. Or just leave a comment below. Uh, hit hit us up there. there. Get us in there. We will send you an email. Get your ass in there, baby. And play some fancy football with your boys from Tankers. You could, for your win, you could win that one lady that you gotta give the chicken wings to. Yeah, if you win the league, we'll fucking get all the, look at the, there's this lady on, uh, is it Craigslist? Yeah, Craigslist. My buddy said he found some lady on Craigslist that if you give this bitch two hundred dollars and fifty <laughs> chicken wings, she will come to your place and wrestle someone of your choosing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's non negotiable. It's two hundred bucks. Fifty wings straight up. Here's the two hundred. That guy over there is frying up your wings. That's the guy that I want you to wrestle. <laughs> Let's get it cooking. She eat the wings before. No, after. yeah, eat the wings after. You get you get the money now. You get the wings after. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're fucking wrestling around here. Who knows? Maybe the one day, is, one maybe one day, the tanker's winner can find himself in a way to our household crunk juice hometown league. He doesn't know you're gonna wrestle him, nor does he probably want to wrestle. But that's what He's we like paid a you for. Three hundred pounds. Like lady. putting a hit out on him with a three hundred. Is it like a three hundred? Yeah. The 300 pound woman that will wrestle <laughs> anyone. And you gotta be sweaty. If, if it's not sweaty, I'm very disappointed. Yeah, I'm not paying you. <laughs> I need three minutes of so Three minutes wrestling somebody on the ground is a fucking eternity. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's only three minutes. You tell me. You want to do, you got this fucking huge bitch out pound pound you on the fucking ground for three minutes. You're gonna know about fucking three minutes, baby. <laughs> just Eat. sit on you. <laughs> Kill him. I'm gonna look like Java Hush. <laughs> Kill him. She's gonna fucking get you, babe. I'm coming for you, Billy. She will come wrestle a man of your choosing for two hundred dollars and fifty chicken wings. <laughs> Start making him wings, Decker. She's coming over to the draft, baby. She's coming after you, Billy. She's gonna be hit from like New York wanting to come. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't know who wants to hey, split this in and go 50, 50 bucks four ways, get a couple more league memories in on the fucking Billy wrestling chick <laughs> with the fucking chicken wings. Maybe we should let her eat the wings first. <laughs> so she's like Billy. <laughs> smothered in the body. Only hot wings, and don't give her a nap. No nap. <laughs> 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 like, smothered in the app. The body you said. And then unleash her on the Billy. This is greasy. There ain't no napkins in the contract, bitch. <laughs> Get in there. Like, do the chug a gallon of milk. You always have the gallon. You always have milk and stuff, like, in ranch with the wings. You ever try the gallon challenge? No, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like puking milk all over myself. <laughs> it's guaranteed bar. <laughs> <laughs> no one's trying it. Highly suggested. <laughs> there it is, people. We're losing it. Losing it. <laughs> like the video. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tanker Listener League. Get you in there. We Thanks are for on the tune in. Listen to your commute to and from work. We sound just as sexy on the radio, baby. Maybe better. Oh, and
All right, see you later. All right, baby. Cheeseburger.